Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy God, to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy son, and thy son's son, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. As the Most High continued to reveal truth to us, it is important for Israelites to focus on establishing a personal relationship with the Most High and repentance. If you don't learn anything else in this awakening, make sure to learn and take heed to repentance and strengthening your relationship with the Most High. By following those two principles, repentance and a personal relationship, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. To see the words of the Most High come alive to change your life, you must trust the Most High and believe in his words. When the kingdom of darkness come against you, it is your heritage as a servant of the Most High to overcome their wickedness. It is important to know what the Most High promised his people. The scriptures reveal to us that your enemies will gather against you. The scriptures did not say your enemies would become your allies and friends. The scriptures clearly said your oppressors, the kingdom of darkness, the serpent seed, and the indigenous black people who pledged their allegiance to Satan will surely gather. The scriptures said when they gather against you, they would fall. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. The reason your enemies would fall when the people of the Most High are in line with his statutes, commandments, and laws, it brings the power of the Most High into their lives. Repentance brings forth obedience. Obedience brings forth righteousness. The scripture said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. The scriptures also made it known that the Most High's righteousness would establish you. I have been young and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. In righteousness shalt thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Israelites, when you're in line with the words of the Most High and doing his will for your life, the enemy will come against you, but they will not prevail. The devil will flee before you seven ways. Every time our ancestors submit themselves to the Most High and adhere to his statutes and commandments, the other nations could not stand against them. Their enemies begin to fight themselves and flee before them. The reason our ancestors were victorious, the Most High was fighting for his people. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be, when you are come nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Righteousness bring the power of the Most High into your life. The Most High do not want to see any of his people perish. I have read comments where some Israelites question the Most High's motives. Some would ask why would the Most High allow pain and suffering into his people's lives if the Israelites are loved by him and viewed as the apple of his eyes. The scripture said, you should not test the Most High, nor question his authority. You shall not tempt the Lord your God, as he tempted him in Massah, 
Nay, but, O man, who art thou that repliest against God? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? In every generation, including this generation, the Most High say to his people, Follow my statutes and commandments. The Most High went on to say to his people, If you do what is right, obeying the statutes, commandments, and laws, everything would go well for you. You shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes, which he hath commanded thee. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land which the Lord sware unto thy fathers. If everything is not going well, it is because sin was found. I need every Israelite to understand the Most High is not punishing you or allowing your oppressors to come against you because you're innocent. Israelites and the indigenous black people need to deal with the multitude of sins ravishing their communities. When you face your iniquities by repenting, you will begin to see the living word of the Most High manifest itself in your life. The Most High is not the one putting you in the situations you find yourselves in. Sin and iniquity cause you to be an astonishment, a byword, and viewed as less than a human in the beast system. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. The Israelites and indigenous black people collectively have a problem with accountability. If you're not taking responsibility for your actions, how are you repenting? Repentance is when you acknowledge your sins and stop engaging in the activities that is causing you to sin. If the indigenous black people were truly repenting, the kingdom of darkness would not prevail against you, regardless of any generational curse running through your bloodline. Sin is the gateway to destruction. Sin gives the kingdom of darkness permission to enter your life. The synagogue of Satan is aware the only way to control a people that is stronger and loved by the Elohim is through sin. The workers of iniquity in the beast system give you all the tools you need to keep you in sin. The beast system is designed to give you all your heart desire to keep you in sin. Not too many Israelites are repenting in the beast system. Because they have been blinded with the lust of the world, in addition, some Israelites are deceived into believing the Most High approve of sinful behaviors through false doctrines. Because many have accepted and believed the various doctrines of devils in religion, as well as in the awakening from people who are led by the flesh, hell has enlarged itself. A lack of knowledge has accelerated the indigenous black people's downfall. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. Israelites and indigenous black people, do not let the lust of the world blind your eyes. The money, the trends, materialism, vanity, and religion is not of the Most High, but of the kingdom of darkness. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. The kingdom of darkness makes sin appealing to the eyes. Israelites, you must overcome the temptations of the world. Too many Israelites and indigenous black people are comfortable and the workers of iniquity shower them with everything their flesh desire. That is why so many do not care to know the truth. When you tell some Israelites their bloodline, culture, heritage, legacy, and name, they do not value the information because for them, the truth has not benefited them in any way. When they are in the beast culture, they are making the money they desire and getting the women and men they lust after, repenting is not an option. They do not find value in the truth because the lies are satisfying their flesh. I hope you can begin to see why the scripture said broad is the road that leads to destruction. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. For the people who question why does the Most High allow all this evil against his people, the Most High raised prophets and teachers. The Most High gave his people the scriptures and the Holy Spirit. The Most High used various methods to get his people's attention to save them.
The awakening is a way the Most High is helping his people in this generation. It is up to the Israelites to listen and to obey his statutes and commandments. The Most High has sent many lifelines to his people that have been on life support to rescue them. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. The Most High is not allowing the evil to come against you. That is why he is trying to help you. It is your sins that is allowing all the evil against you. The Most High's conditions are simple. Humble yourselves, repent, pray, and seek my face. Israelites, do not let the workers of iniquity in the beast system make the Most High's commandments grievous. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. The kingdom of darkness has complicated the statutes, commandments, and laws of the Most High in religion. Confusion plague religion. Organized religion is not of the Most High. If you want to see the presence of the Most High, you must repent. Repentance is the antidote needed to accelerate your recovery. For multiple generations in the beast system, the Israelites have been fighting their own battles. The workers of iniquity and religion deceive many to believe the Most High is battling with them through the false Messiah they accepted in religion. Despite accepting the Messiah, religion said is their Elohim in the flesh, the Israelites in the beast system remain oppressed. Earlier you heard in the scriptures, if you follow the commandments of the Most High, everything would be well with you. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers. The Israelites and the indigenous black people collectively are the most religious people compared to the other species of mankind. The word of the Most High said, everything will go well for you if you kept his commandments. If everything is not going well, sin was found. If the indigenous black people were truly keeping the most high statutes, commandments, and laws in the religion they accepted in the beast system, the presence of the most high would be with them. Anyone with eyes can see the indigenous black people collectively are living defeated lives in the beast system. Religion is one of the most effective ways the kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan keep the Israelites and the indigenous black people in bondage. Most people do not know religion is idolatry. There is nothing spiritual about religion. The Most High hates the sin of idolatry. The first commandment said there should be no other gods before the Most High. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Israelites, idolatry will remove the presence of the Most High away from his people quickly. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him, and shall swear by his name. Ye shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are round about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you. Lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee, and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. When the presence of the Most High depart from you, you become prey in the beast system. The kingdom of darkness gain full access to deceive you. The sin of idolatry is serious. Every time our ancestors lost a battle or they went into captivity, idolatry was the sin that led to their downfall. Today, there are many Israelites and indigenous black people who are proud members in the other species of mankind's religion, not knowing they have forsaken the Elohim of Israel. The kingdom of darkness used the synagogue of Satan to keep the indigenous black people in idol worship. The scriptures did say in the land of their captivity, his people will serve other gods. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Idolatry was our ancestors' biggest problem despite knowing their names, legacy, history, and bloodline. Our ancestors had the anointed prophets among them to teach them about the statutes and laws of the Most High. 
yet the spirit of idolatry overtook them. Idolatry continued to be the number one sin among Israelites in this generation. Many Israelites do not realize they are in idolatry. Idol worship is a common practice in the beast culture. Many years ago, idolatry was hidden. Today, witches, warlocks, pagans everywhere proudly display their wickedness for all to see. The celebrity culture is idolatry. Inspiring to become like the influencers on social media is idolatry. Anything can become an idol. The scripture said, for where your treasure is, there your heart be also. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Israelites, you must guard your heart and your mind. When our ancestors obeyed the Most High statutes and commandments, the Most High fought their battle. Today, there are many Israelites and indigenous black people who obey the doctrines of religion and committed to the God religion said is the Elohim of Israel. Despite their zeal in religion, many are not living the life the Most High promised the righteous. The Most High said to repent. Religion said except the Messiah. Which one is it? In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let the Most High be true and every man a liar. The scripture said to repent. Repentance is the answer. So many Israelites and indigenous black people say they do not know how to repent. Repentance is simply turning away from doing the activities that remove the presence of the Most High from your life. For example, if you struggle with the spirit of lust, you should stop engaging in activities that give the spirit of lust a hold on your life. Stop watching porn. Stop looking at scandalous pictures. Remove yourself from places that will cause you to give into the temptations of the spirit of lust. You must follow the same concept for all iniquities. The same way the Most High said his commandments are not grievous, do not let the kingdom of darkness complicate repentance. The moment the Israelites and indigenous black people begin to repent with all of their heart and mind, change will come. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Repentance will bring obedience. Once the people of the Most High began to obey his statutes, commandments, and laws, there is nothing the kingdom of darkness can do. They will gather, like the scriptures say, but they shall fall. Obedience to the Most High will subdue your enemies. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. Israelites and indigenous black people, do not complicate what the Most High require of you. The same way you obey your oppressors without a word, you should obey the Most High's commandments and statutes. I have quoted many scriptures in this message that say the same thing. Return to the Most High, follow his commandments, and the Most High will fight for you. If you do these things, your enemies could no longer take advantage of you. Remember, religion is the institution that brought forth many doctrines to keep you in bondage. The time has come for you to let go of the man-made religions and come out of the house of bondage. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Israelites, do not let the sin of disobedience be your downfall. Early detection of sin will save you from a life of oppression. Too many indigenous black people are struggling with the sin of rebellion. The scripture said, for rebellion is like the sin of witchcraft. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He hath also rejected thee from being king. For those who are unaware, witchcraft and idolatry goes hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. Remember, idolatry is one of the Israelites' biggest sins. The sin of idolatry is keeping many Israelites and indigenous black people in bondage in this generation. All Israelites, 
must repent from the sin of idolatry and rebellion. Israelites, it is important for you to know how the kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan contribute to your downfall. The workers of iniquity will give you all the resources and tools you need to destroy yourself. We are living during the times of the heathens. The Gentile government system is Satan's dominion in the world. The beast system reflects the kingdom of darkness. Everything that is accepted in the beast culture is to glorify Satan. Everything that is popular with the world is an abomination to the Most High. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. The heathen's beast system is designed to keep you in sin. That way the kingdom of darkness can maintain its dominion over the world. Israelites, you must recognize the deception in the beast culture and turn away. Be a set apart people like the most high command of his people. The other species of mankind has taken the enemy position in the beast culture. Remember, the scripture said there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Some of the most wicked people in this world are the sweetest people you will ever meet. That is why the scripture said you should be concerned when people praise you. The world only accepts and welcome its own. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. When the serpent seed went to plant tares around the world, they came bearing gifts to the indigenous black people they found living on the land. They positioned themselves as friends to the indigenous black people. Once the indigenous black people revealed their secrets and taught the serpent seed their ways, history and the scriptures confirm the serpent seed turned on the indigenous black people. Do not mistake the other species of mankind's kindness for support and friendship. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. The indigenous black people who dwell all over the world made the mistake of trusting the enemy when the colonizers came bearing gifts. Moments later, the indigenous black people were killed, robbed of their land, and the women were abused to produce tares. The colonizers bastard children all over the world. Do not be blinded with the other species of mankind, kindness. All the man-made laws goes against the supreme laws of the Most High. You can't trust a group of people whose behavior reveal they are an enemy, while their words reveal they are your friends. Right now, in the awakening, the Israelites must examine themselves to find their offense like King David did, repent, and ask the Most High to lead you on the path to eternal life. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. The awakening is about repenting, recognizing sin, and turning away. Do not let the kingdom of darkness distract you from repenting. Repentance is what will bring the power of the Most High into your life. The kingdom of darkness will rise against you by challenging your claims. Do not let defending your identity as an Israelite and the original people of the world be your focus in the awakening. Remember, the scripture said they will surely gather, especially when you are doing the will of the Most High. The Israelites and the indigenous black people must obey the words of the Most High and keep his statutes and commandments. Repent from all sins until your redemption comes. The book of Deuteronomy said, if from the land of your captivity, you begin to obey the voice of the Most High and do all that is command of you, the Most High would reverse your captivity. And it shall come to pass, when all these things have come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, 
and have compassion upon thee, and will return, and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. The Most High is calling for all his people to repent and obey his commands. The Most High wants to save his people. It's up to the Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world to humble themselves and return to the Most High. How long must the Most High raise prophets and teachers for his people to deny themselves, take up their cross, and follow the Most High? And when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, What mean the testimonies and statutes and the judgments which the Lord our God hath commanded you? And thou shalt say unto thy son, We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt. And the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord showed signs and wonders, great and sore, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from thence, that he might bring us in, to give us the land which he sware unto our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, as he hath commanded us.